deep into the holiday season. It seems we all have bigger appetites, right? <laughs> Dietitian Karen Hosenfeld is here to boost our metabolism because that's what we need. It's never too late to no. boost your metabolism. <laughs> and one of the first things that we can do is add some protein in your life. Okay. So protein will boost metabolism. Studies have shown up to 30%. Who wouldn't want that? Yeah. Lots of times, you know, we're choosing the leaner proteins at your meals. You can have some Greek yogurt for breakfast. But what I find is the biggest problem is snacking. People are not right. adding in protein. This is one of the highest protein nuts out there. These are wonderful pistachios. They have six grams of plant protein and three grams of fiber that'll help to fill you up. Hmm. And it's also one of the nuts that has the lowest calories and lowest fat. So you can get 49 of these nuts in a serving, which is more than any other nut. I know they have the little snack packs too in these, which exactly. I do like. So that's what we should be snacking And on. who doesn't okay. love cracking these little pistachios? Yeah, no kidding, no kidding. <laughs> what about beef? So we want to look for 96% fat-free or more lean cuts. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you can find a better grass-fed beef as well because it's lower in saturated fat and actually a little higher in omega-3s, which is good for you. So really read the labels. Absolutely. Or you can also talk to your butcher. Oh, good idea. So the next one is what I call super grains. So really important that your grains have a little bit extra to them. This is quinoa. A lot of people don't know how to pronounce it. Right. Don't know what to do with it. This is your dried quinoa, and then this is when you cook it. So this little half cup serving has about 16% of the fiber you need in a whole day. It's really? fantastic. It's a little bland, so you kind of have to mix it with things, which Absolutely. could be good, right? Treat it like can... a brown rice. Okay. And so these are some uh, quinoa meatballs that I made. Oh, they, really? they do have some spice in there. You can drizzle it with barbecue sauce and serve it at your holiday parties. It smells good. Too. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> it smells great cooking in the right, house, and too. And spices are good for us. Spices can boost your metabolism by about 8%, hmm. which is really quite significant if you like spicy food. You don't have to go for just the peppers. You can also go for garlic. Ginger can also boost your metabolism. And these are some sweet and uh, spicy nuts that I made, too. Oh, so really? Get your protein and your spice boosted together. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to be hot, hot, hot. It can, it can also just be taste. Exactly. You know, it can also taste good too. Okay, and, and you're going to share both of these recipes, the one for the quinoa meatballs and also these uh, these spicy sweet almonds yes. on our website. And one extra thing to boost your metabolism, there's nothing like good old-fashioned exercise. The I knew you were going to say that, Karen. No. <laughs> Work off that holiday food. You can find Karen's recipe and also a link to North Dallas Nutrition on our website, myfoxdfw.com. I knew you were going to go there with I the know, exercise. exercise. Do it. Just do oh, it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Got to get to it. Below freezing temperatures across North Texas. And oh, we've got some traffic out there this morning. We'll check it.